Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Piot Fessner. Guys, we get a parcel from China so we can see what we will be doing next. It's a bunch of parcels. One, two, three, and there is much more. Look. Okay, so that should be everything. No, one more. Now we've got everything. Let's check. I got a knife here. Okay, a small knife. Nothing extraordinary. Customers should come here and collect and I collect the drop off Nintendo Switch. So, yay. How to fix. We got a welder over there. PCB is working already. A power button, I mean the trigger button works already. Now what has left is a some issue that the welder on its own doesn't work. Okay, so we get a quick uh, soldering station, which I will be building. I'll show you only the stuff, how does it look like. We will maybe make one, uh, one episode. Okay, so just the power and this. And what came with the packaging. Okay, that's power cord. That's one tip. The tip is this one. It's one of my favorite tips, so that should be okay. A, that's called whatever they can call it here, T12 tip. So it doesn't say on this. Okay, that's K, T12K they call it. Okay, so that's the handle. That's, okay, that's the sensor, I think. That's to the handle inside. That's the electronics board with a display. A cable to the handle. Tip. Connector, yes, just a regular connector, nothing extraordinary. And the power cable. So we'll be welding that soon. Now what do we have here? See, I've ordered so much that it's like like a lot but I need to order tons more anyway oh moment there is somebody at the door oh I'm back okay so yeah customer came and brought in a Nintendo switch left joy-con with analog issue I gave them my one and I took this one as well it's a P a power power A power A. Uh, so what it is is this has left <laughs> drift and this has a left drift as well. That's me. Time to fix something. But what we were doing is we were looking at this. Okay, so we've got Nintendo Switch charging ports actually. Maybe I'll take it off. Speaking about the devil. Yes, Nintendo. So now customer comes and I can help them straight away. They don't have to wait on me. And I've got two here. As you know, if you watch this channel, there's only one is white and one is black. If that's legal to say, because these times are weird. What else do we have? Nothing. Nothing. Another charging port, probably. Yes, of course. That's looking like Samsung. But which one? I've got no idea. LP. Okay. I've got no idea which one it is. I don't read Chinese, so I don't know if that's written or not. I'll have to 
put it aside a lot of tidy up here the same story not written what what it is and so on shipping mm. that's Ooh, that's that's some chip that chip is the size of the tdp 158 159 but what the chip is i've got no chip idea okay i think i know which one they are these chips are um, audio amplifiers for the d class amplifier i was working on and unfortunately uh, these chips died so i can fix those d amplifiers yay that at least looks like so we will see yeah, so I, but I didn't order anything else in that size. Oh yay! We got. Oh, that's from one shop. That's why it's okay. So we've got HDMI port for PlayStation Four for, for PlayStation Four. That's HDMI port. That's one port. There was there were no two ports, and these are for PlayStation uh, GamePad. okay so that's full assembly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so ten of them these are for game pads that's okay cool hdmi can stay here Thought I've ordered two, but maybe I've ordered one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got. <laughs> you remember I was talking about the power amplifier, audio amplifier, D. Look how many. Oh, they are falling apart. Yes, they are that big. They are five watt audio amplifiers. Yes, really big ones. And those chips which are there are are exactly these chips. So yeah, I'll be fixing my ones. I don't wanna I wanna use new one only to test them if they are working fine if I will know that they are working, but that's okay. Uh, okay, this this is the DC to DC uh, power converter. Yes, you can you should have about 1.5 volt difference in between um input and an output but you can you can supply power so if you've got let's say like me i bought solar cells and i want to supply them with some current i mean not them i want to supply that current to some battery and then use certain voltage out of that battery i can take it or i can uh, use this one to charge that battery. but it's a uh, limited on current and if you want to use more current You've got two choices either don't use it or put it on the radiator yeah so that this chip will start to heat and will have better uh, power yes okay uh, heat trans transfer better okay so these are one two three four yes i've got four of them that's okay let's leave one here see how many and that's nothing guys that's if I wouldn't change the alignment of the rooms, I wouldn't even order because I would. I do not have a place. These are ports. That's for PlayStation 4 as well. Okay, so I've got five, one over there and five here. So maybe that one is for the Slim, and this one is for the regular PS4s. But at least whenever customer is coming, I can replace these ports. Yes. That's, that's what we need. Okay, what do we have here? I have no idea. No, actually, that's looking like the 15 or 50 watt. 15 watt. I would have to go to AliExpress and check because that's looking like the bigger am audio amplifier. I think 15 watt amplification. Yes, that's a 15 watt amplification. By why it's like that 
why it's not straight should be like that more well but anyways that's that that would be the one 15 watt power amplifier and i don't remember if that's dual channel or one channel because i want to test it if that will be okay then i will know i can order more of them sometimes people are coming with bluetooth speakers and these speakers have chips which i don't have then i can use those small um audio amplifiers for the small speakers and then this I could use for the bigger ones yes so I, I've used the small ones but I never use the bigger ones so yeah, hold on a second somebody's calling me okay guys we got 10 minutes can we do it in 15 what else came wow okay I've got no idea what came and I'm not joking any description any help nope and to be true, what it is? <laughs> Looking like the size of M7 diode. Can I get some light? Because I don't know what I'm looking at. No, I don't know what it is. Oh, come on, you cheeky little monkey. Wow, okay, that's some chip. That chip has some legs. Oh, you can't see it. I'll show you on one of the other episodes. But, but this might be in that case I know what that might be in that case that will be chip for the uh, for Nintendo switch because that makes sense I don't remember which one it can be like if that would be p13 USB I would be happy because I've got two Nintendo switches with charging problem so I don't want to open it, remove it, see it, yeah, it's working, yes, and then I don't have a chip to replace it with, and I'll put everything back together just to open it again. And I don't know what's wrong with it, but I know that if that's the case, I don't want to open it and not have a chip to replace with. Because, yeah, it will work without that chip, but... Because that chip is, I think, for the docking station only. But I'm not sure, you see, I never... I only seen that people didn't put them in and it was working. So that's what I know of. That's not my experience, that's just experience from the internet. But if that's the case, that's nice because... I've got two Nintendo Switches with the same issue, no power on. So might be lucky to have at least one of them needed, if not two. Okay, that's good. Uh, came T12s the same day <laughs> for the Hakko. Uh, Quico, sorry. Quico. Uh, these are micro soldering pen uh, tip. Sorry, T12 micro soldering tip. What what they call it? JL02. Okay, so, and that's a bit bent. That's fine. That's, I like, I like this one. And that's straight. Okay, good. As well, micro soldering. I bought two for micro soldering. As that's that's the second one straight. Okay, that's nice. And three more, guys. Three more to go, and we got 14 minutes. So, guys, I won't make it in 15. Sorry. Just want you to see everything what has been brought, so that you will know what to expect in the next weeks on this YouTube channel, apart from repairs. Okay. I don't know what to expect, to be true. RLF repair spot welding slice. Okay. We don't talk about Bruno. Steel web, website, YouTube, okay. 
What? Okay, you know what came? This is a complete sheet of a lot of um, how you call them? You fix you fix lines with them. I don't know how you call them, but yeah, that that's the one. Different sizes and different shapes and then circles as well here not only those so if you're fixing hdmi port because the trace is damaged yes you use them to fix it so that's that's nice that's 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 really lovely because i wanted them and last two what what do we have here that's looking like some sort of screen so many okay so what it is these are all a uh, charging port for galaxies different galaxies like s20 21 22 node 20 s10 8 and 9 so you get charging port whenever customer will come i can just say Look, I've got them in stock. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's like a coffin. Probably here will be similar. What came as well came uh, resistors from 10 ohms to 910 kilo ohms, 5% resistance, 0805 SMD ones. So yes, I want to collect all of them. No, my collection. all of them okay here it's blocking me that's good so that was a 15 day delivery from aliexpress and they've made it they've, they sort of made it or they've made it okay and what that last but not least came HDMI ports for what are you guys that has to be for PlayStation but I've got no idea which one I remember that I've ordered for PlayStation 5 so that one probably will be for PlayStation 5 this one PS PS4, this one is for PS4, so I've got for PS4 so many. They are different, definitely they are different. So ha one has to be for the slim and one has to be for the regular one or pro. PS4 and this one is for the regular ones, I've, I've got no idea why. But anyways, you know, that that's all it came. I will be ordering more sizes of because that's 0805 so I want to have as well 600s, 400s and 200s yes that's what I want and I've ordered as well 0 ohm resistors and I want to order capacitors as well but not everything you know each time I've got some repairs I can order one or two or something this was only because i move in the room and i i need those ports because customers are coming with these devices and i'm ordering stuff from ebay uh, and then customers are waiting so th this this was like sort of a must and soldering iron is just that's something that i wanted to test if that's worth the money plus it was super cheap i paid for that soldering iron only about 20 pounds I need to build it myself but we will make an episode as I said uh, so that's fine and that's the uh, that's a quick tip t t12 tip so that's fine so guys it's 1956 let's let's make it 
the end yes you see if possible let's fix them all let's stock up let's advertise let's integrate with other repair shops and then when we will integrate we can share repairs with each other even when we've got customer you know too far and we don't want you know everyone to send in if we don't depend how many work we can take and uh, you see i'm moving rooms still so it's still messy uh, that will take me some time still to move but you know once everything is settled we can advertise book repair online and we can integrate repair shops and then we can stock up parts and then help each other and use profits from book repair online to buy electronics and sell them across our shops uh, and then our shops can sell them to to the local people and then we can use profits from those sales to build fixable electronics and that's how we will find the right repair so guys hopefully you see uh, hopefully you like what i bought if anybody needs anything from this then can contact me i can send it even with the next day delivery if you wanna you know because on ebay everything is much dearer from these and uh, i don't mind to you know just help you out and send it you know cheaply it, it, it won't happen every so often i mean if, if it won't happen every day yes it's just that you know I need to order them as well i can't be left with zero in stock because that's all the point here and it's not worth to to sell them because i would have to sell in the large quantities to make a living out of it yeah so i can't be a supplier uh, but you know if if i can help someone with a quicker repair like those amplifiers or something you know look how many of them i have yes because each each customer is coming with a faulty bluetooth speaker Either I'm going to uh, eBay buying something here or I'm going to AliExpress and waiting for a long time. So each time, you know, customers come and two of them will be used. So I've got about five only speakers to repair and I had in the last month about five to repair. That's why I want to test those bigger ones. If I like it, let's do it. And uh, so, yeah, I want to have all the modules uh, there is so that if any fault will come, uh, we can, we can fix it here and now rather than waiting for a whole month thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video if you can please like that really helps this this youtube channel so if you can't subscribe at least please like it and thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye